The gold is inspired by the iconic true story of the largest gold heist in British history, the Brinks Map robbery. On the 26th of November 1983, six armed men broke into the Brinks Mat Security Warehouse at Heathrow International Trading Estate in London. As for descriptions, it's believed only three of the six men were seen. They hoped to find up to three million pounds in cash, but instead stumbled across three tons of gold bullion worth 26 million. That is the equivalent of around 100 million pounds in today's money. Look, it's not hard to shift the bar, Kenny. What you're talking about, that is, that's a different level. 6,800 gold bars were stolen in total, packed into 76 cardboard boxes and bundled into the back of a van. This was, at the time, the biggest robbery in world history. Even allowing for inflation, the haul is twice as big as the great train robbery. Stealing the gold was one thing, but the really difficult part was selling it. The only way the gold turns into money is if they manage to sell it back into the market. Many of the gold bars were melted down and turned into poorer grade gold, that was much easier to sell for cash. The latest suggestion is that the gold has been melted down already and has actually been taken out of the country. Much of the gold has never been recovered and it is claimed that any gold jewellery bought in the UK after 1984 likely contains traces of the Brinks Mad gold. Do they have it, boys? The gold? Whatever's left. Then go and get it. Described as the crime of the century, the Brinks Mat robbery was remarkable not only for the scale of the theft, but for its wider legacy and the decades-long chain of events that followed. The operation is moving so quickly that senior officers now feel they're closing the net on the men they believe to be the brains behind Britain's biggest robbery. The disposal of the bullion caused the birth of large-scale international money laundering. The money has to keep moving. Provided the dirty money that helped fuel the London Docklands property boom. We build a new London right here. United blue and white-collar criminals. I represent important men in another world. And left controversy and murder in its wake.